There is always a debate between tower fans and box fans, which is actually better. I own both, so I know firsthand the benefits and disadvantages of both. And this review isn't biased, so I'll tell exactly what type of situation they're better than the other. Let's first talk about the main differences between those two options. So the main difference between box fan and tower fans is functionality. Tower fans have a lot more functions such as speed settings, automatic timers, and it also fits with your home decor. Box fans are more powerful, they're easier to move from one room to another, and they're a lot more budget friendly. Also, some tower fans are safer and healthier as they use air purification technology. Okay, so let's first cover the benefits of a tower fan. And first is of course the one I just, I just mentioned, which is air purification. This is a health feature that helps a lot of people who suffer from asthma or breathing allergies. I would always look for this feature when buying a tower fan for my home. It makes the whole environment a lot healthier. Second benefit, that it's safe. So if you have kids or pets at home, they won't fall over a tower fan like they can over a box fan. Also, there aren't any visible blades so they can touch and don't hurt themselves. Also, as they aren't that powerful, they will never overheat. Third is easy to maintain. So if you ask me, tower fans are the easiest type of fans to maintain. I personally use a vacuum cleaner every three weeks to clean them and it takes me around just five minutes. Some tower fans have a high technology feature such as an automatic timer and sleeper modes. You can adjust when you want the fan to turn off completely. This is a super helpful when you're going to bed at night. And of course, it helps to preserve the overall quality of the tower fan. And in case you're looking all in all best tower fan, I do recommend this specific tower fan to buy. And we do have a whole article about tower fans, so we'll link that in the description below. However, some of the things you might not like about tower fan is that they aren't powerful enough. If you're looking to cool a bigger room, it probably won't do the job as expected as it isn't near as strong as an air conditioner. Tower fans are mainly built to cool what's directly in front of them. So definitely position them in front of you while you're working at your desk and it will be cool enough for you. Also, the cheaper tower fans are less durable and they won't last long. So I do recommend investing a little bit more and it will save you money in the long term. And now the benefits of the box fan. So first of all is that they're very, very affordable. You can get them way cheaper than tower fans. The reason for this budget friendly price isn't bad quality or anything like that. It's due to its classic and compact design. Second benefit is portability. So box fans have a built-in handle that allows you to transfer it easily from one room to another. They're also more lightweight than tower fans, so it won't be hard to carry them around. Third benefit is that they're very powerful. So some box fans are so powerful that they have over 2000 CFMs, which is pretty good. They can push air throughout the whole room instead of just blowing air in front of them. From my experience, they are way easier to cool a bigger room compared to tower fans. And fourth is efficient. So I've done my research and the monthly cost of running a box fan would be just $2. Yes, I'm serious. I've calculated this based on my own usage and I'm using box fan for about six to eight hours each day. It's pretty efficient considering the power it has. And again, if you're looking for a best box fan, this Hurricane box fan is the one I do recommend because of its price, quality, and durability. However, there are some things that you might not like about a box fan. So the biggest downside is that they aren't very safe. Especially if you have small children or pets at home, try to position your box fan somewhere where they can't touch it. This is especially dangerous because they're more powerful than, for example, tower fans. Another thing that could frustrate you is the noise it produces. If you're planning to read a book with a turned on box fan, it might ruin your focus. I've mostly used it personally in my garage, which is a best place for a box fan. Okay, so what's the conclusion? Which one is actually better? So I've listed all of the pros and cons for both, but it's definitely very hard to tell which is better because it really depends on your situation and needs. Tower fans are a lot better for smaller rooms they're pretty safe and you can even put them in your kids' rooms. Also, if you're only like working at a desk at home, tower fans are also better because they're quieter and they have a directional airflow, which is way better for a tower fan. However, box fans are cheaper, yet they're more powerful, so you should use them in bigger areas of your home. 
So depending on what you need, you'll definitely know which one is better for you. We also have a free cheat sheet with 28 tricks that can help you save on your electricity, heating or cooling bill each month. Go to link in the description to download it.